So this is one of our, uh, I guess you'd say grow out buildings for the, uh, the chickens. And basically uh, what this is, um, did a little bit of a spot clean in our uh, stall in the barn that we keep the sheep in at night. Um, which basically gets this nice mixture of manure and uh, hay and wood chips, etc. So I basically, rather than just put it on a pile somewhere, etc., I brought it out here. Um, and the chicks love digging through it. And I mean, it continues to attract flies and everything else. But then you're, well, it's not a perfect system, but that's giving uh, giving them some food. So I'm just going to, uh, this is their, their food for the morning. Um, come in here. To, uh, close the gate, because these little guys would be out into the garden. If I don't, it doesn't latch. There we go. Anyways, I'll bring this over here. We kind of have a, uh, it's a bit of a double system. We used to, we actually moved this from where we used to live. Um, and we used to use it. We had the building divided. And uh, we had two different lines in each side. But we're kind of finding well, space makes a big difference. When you, when you have it, you give them space, they grow better. So we've kind of done this double system where basically they get access to both sides. But you can kind of see over there uh, some of the uh, some of the grain and stuff that they they miss or don't eat just ends up sprouting and then when you put them back into the other side They eat it so it kind of reduces some of your waste anyways, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead here and uh, Let these little buggers out There they are I'm Trying to remember exactly how old these this group is but um, These are actually uh, a combination of of two groups from two separate hens that uh, had gone broody for us that were from the same line and uh, they really it was nice to, they kind of went broody at about the same time so the whole group is about the same age um, but anyways you can see they're already uh, going to town for goodies Seem to be quite enjoying themselves. And I'm going to uh, come back here. I'm going to actually take some of these because this is uh, some older grain from the other day. And they're not really eating, and I'm just going to uh, sort of broadcast this on top, and that'll give them something else to uh, to muck around in. To be honest, they. They may just work that in, but that's uh, that's fine. It's a mixture of uh, white millet, uh, a little bit of oats. Although I think they ate most of the oats and a few uh, a few kernels of I see of wheat there. But um, yeah, I'll just uh, go through the motions. Bring their uh, bring their mixture in here. So what this is, uh, we do sprout grains usually sits for about three days um, that at some point later and uh, yeah it works really well um, depending on the uh, time of year they have preferences of which part they like and certain pieces sprout better depending on the temperature etc but uh, anyways we'll give them that for the day you can see they've out a lot of the stuff that hadn't sprouted in here but uh, despite appearances we do find this system reduces the uh, amount of waste um, quite a bit and like I say you can basically take this move it out into a yard or and, um, and they'll eat it but uh, you're uh, you're missing out bud <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna uh, go get them some water and such here in a second but uh, yeah, as you can see, they're, uh, they approve. Who knows what goodies they're finding in there. <laughs> 